welcome to another exciting episode of Off the Pitch. My name is Brenda Shiman. This is the show where you get to catch up with your favorite football players all around Nigeria and beyond to know exactly what is going on with them outside football. Let's take a short break and when we come back, the show starts in just a moment. Don't go anywhere. Hi guys, my name is Victor Sime, Napoli and Super Eagles My name is Gloria Bonner, playing for Santa Teresa Spare. Super Falcon Defender. My name is Anayo Iwala, playing for Esperas Football Club. Keep watching OTP with Brenda. Make sure you keep watching Off the Pitch Show with Brenda. Keep watching Off the Pitch Show with Brenda. All right, welcome back from that short break. And like I told you earlier, if you just joined us, the show is Off the Pitch, and I am your host. Brenda Shima. This is the show, like I said, where you get to catch up with your favorite football players all around the world, know exactly what is going on with them outside football. And with that being said, let's now take you straight into the interview and quiz segment. It's good to have you on this episode of Off the Pitch. Thank you. All right, so like this is our coach here. Quickly, just give us a brief introduction of yourself. I know you, but I mean, for the sake of the fans and um, those who are watching, yeah. tell us who is Ademola Lukman, what you've been doing for a living, we know that, and how long you've been doing that, and um, exactly uh, how do you feel about your career generally? Uh, originally from, well, my friends originally from Lagos. Um, yeah, but I grew up in the, in the UK. Um, started playing football when I was maybe four or five years old. Um, I started playing professionally when I was uh, 16. Oh. So I went to, yeah, went to a professional club when I was 16. Um, but yeah, ever since then, my love for football has always been the same. Oh, right. Um, so, I mean, you don't have any background from well, Nigerian history. You don't have any history in Nigeria, aside from your parents and your birth. Uh, obviously, I've been to Nigeria many, many times when I was younger. Oh, you can just remember. Times. No, I remember the times, of course. Uh, <laughs> obviously, my parents are from, from Lagos, so I stayed there in, uh, in Lagos, um, in a place called... Um, well, originally, my grandma's from Adenijin. Oh, okay. It's a little, uh, place. Um, and my, my dad is from... Um, oh, right. <laughs> uh, no, take your time, take your time. I mean, take your time. If you, we, we think about that when we're going on the show, right? A place called Aja, somewhere. Aja in Lagos? Yeah. All oh, right, so he's talking about Aja in Lagos. But anyways, let's not blame him. He's not used to this part of the country. Being a Nigerian, how exactly do you feel coming back home to represent your country? Let's start from that. What exactly is the feeling for you, you know, being away for this period of time and then having to play in the national team? You're probably the youngest, I must say, to have played in the national team for this period. So how does that make you feel? I'm blessed. I'm feeling blessed. Um, everybody's been welcoming um, from, from the staff to the players. Um, so I'm feeling, I'm feeling very, very, very good to be here. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward looking forward to what's to come. All right. So this is not about your career, like I said, it's matters of the pitch. So we'll get right into that. Let's start with the first question. Have you had your Ghan Jam, Nigerian jollof or the Ghanaian jollof? Because I heard you were sick. So I'm like, are you yeah. from Shidi? He didn't eat Ghanaian jollof. But yeah. anyways, have you had Nigerian jollof? And what of is your course. take on that? Our food? There's no comparison. Nigerian jollof is 10 times better than Ghanaian I don't Ghanaian expect jollof. you to say less. All right, so let's know, let us in on your routine after the um, outside football. What do you do yeah. for fun if you're not playing football? What exactly? How's your life like outside football? Um, outside football, I like to just relax. I'm a laid back guy. Um, whether that's, um, you know, being at home or watching a movie or watching a series or going out for bowling or to the cinema mm. or, just, yeah, or going for a walk or yeah, whatever. Just, yeah. Oh, you're just a cool guy, yeah, yeah, chill relaxed, guy. Yeah, yeah. In Nigeria, we're not chill, do we like yeah, to? Yeah, oh, I'm bad. We yeah, like yeah. to be do and all of that. <laughs> Don't worry, you get used to it. Look, man, you're young, but I won't say that you're out of, this question is out of place, but we just want to know, for the ladies, um, is Lukman married? I know not married. So is Lukman hooked up? And then if he is, um, should, or if he's not, should Nigerian girls start sending their CVs or something like that? <laughs> uh, I'm single. But... 
Yeah. All right, so I'm you're sending your CVs. <laughs> is that what it is? Okay. So we're taking it to the next segment of the show, which is the quiz segment. I'm just going to test your knowledge of the super egos a little bit. I know you don't know so much about them, but I, I hope you do because it's the team you're actually playing in. So I'm going to test your knowledge about the super egos, and I have three questions for you. So if you fail to answer all three questions, you're going to do me a press up or you're going to do me something, just something for us to laugh on. Okay. Is that okay? Sure. All right. So, um, are you ready? All right. Uh, the Super Eagles of Nigeria have won the AFCON title for a record of how many times? Name the times, the years. The what? The what? AFCON, African Cup of Nations, the AFCON title. For a record of how many times? And list out the times. Oh, I know this answer as well, you know. Okay. I, can I give two answers? It's either, it's either two or three times. Okay, you can give one answer, but you have to pick one, two or three. Let me help you out. Three. Okay, so what are the three times? TikTok, time is taken, time is taken. 1996. Okay, just call out three years. I'm not going to say yes, I'm just going to wait till you're done and I'll tell you if it's correct or not. 1990. Okay, and the latest one is what? Yeah. You don't know. 2004? I don't know. <laughs> Alright, that was absolutely wrong. You got the first part, which is three times. Yes, the one you record for three times. 1980, 1994, and 2013. Three times. So that's, um, that's, um, that's a one zero for you. So the second question goes, how many times have the Super Eagles qualified for the World Cup? This is the tournament you're going to play in. So you should have had knowledge of this. How many times have the Super Eagles qualified for the World Cup? in the whole of the tournament. How many times? Options, I'll give you options. A, six, B, four, C, three. You don't have, just pick an option. A, six, B, four, C, three. Which will it be for you? I'm gonna go A, six. All right, that was correct. <laughs> that was a good guess. <laughs> yes. Yes, okay, so the final question. Which Nigerian's most super good player is the most capped at FIFA World Cup? Which at of, FIFA World Cup? Yes. Joseph Yobo, A, or Johnny Gallo, B? No, Joseph Yobo. <laughs> I like the confidence in that. Joseph Yobo, yeah, you got that one correct. <laughs> That was a good one. So, Adimola, yeah. look, man, it was amazing talking to you. And then, thank, thank you for being on the show. But I won't let you go without your parting words to your fans, your followers, people who are looking up to you. Basically, young people like yourself will be a word of encouragement to them. It's your time. Um, yeah, just keep working hard, uh, keep believing in yourself, and, um, you know, um, the future is bright. Keep believing that the future is bright, yes. All right, thank you. The future is bright. You heard him. So, thank you so much for the show, on, coming on the show once again. And thank you. Have a great day. All right. Ade means king. No? Okay. All right. All right. That's why I, li I like to see that. And Ola means, oh, I've forgotten. <laughs> yes. Quite an interesting conversation we had there with our guests for today. Hope you learned one or two. Well, now let's take you right into the street talk where we get to hear from the fans what they think about the current situation going on in the Nigerian Football Federation. <laughs> AFCON 2023 qualifier draw is finally out and teams on the continent now know their opponents. Nigeria's Super Eagles, on the other hand, will be looking forward to redeem their image in the race of the biggest soccer showpiece in the continent as following their recent performance. Well, Nigeria is also in Group A alongside Sierra Leone, Guinea-Bissau and Sao Tome and Principal. I'm on the streets as always to find out from the fans what they think of the outcome of the draws. Follow me. Uh, uh, the group um, I think it's only Sierra Leone I see that can really stand uh, Nigeria in terms of uh, them qualifying for the Nations Cup. I mean, even the players also, they are good, but uh, the NFL need to sit down. They need to give uh, those, those technical crew a chance to, to, to go about their, their, their... They shouldn't meddle into their, their affairs. They should allow them to do their work. I think this new uh, selections of uh, the, co the technical crew and the coaching crew, I think they will do better. I just hope they do better to make sure Nigerians uh, uh, get... A, a joy 
from uh, uh, football. We watched all those uh, 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 Super Eagles before. Daniel Amokachi, when you see the guy, you see that he has passion. But I'm not seeing passion in this team today. That's what I'm saying. So please, if, if, if there is anything the, the, the government can do to bring in those people that will bring discipline to this, into this team, it is, it is okay. And they can achieve what they want to achieve, even to win the trophy. They need more training. You understand? With a coach. Say you understand? So with all this, we will qualify. Because I know we have some, some uh, valid players. We then do very strong. Say you understand? So with our new coach, say we, I mean, we are going to new step. Give them power to play the ball well. They're working hard? Yes, with coach. Make coach give them Operate. better strength. Yes, the sense we go make them appreciate. We go make we go make them put art with a ball with power. Let them run and make them make sure say Nigeria qualify. Let them know come out for group stage. Share the yummy my sister. Go work out for Nigeria. Alright, the Nigerian fans have spoken and indeed you are expecting the Nigerian Football Federation to get it right this time, particularly with the technical crew and the selection of players and just maybe the Super Eagles of Nigeria will be headed for their fourth AFCON title. Well, just before we go, let's remind you that the AFCON 2023 playoff will kick off officially in June later this year. Cause song sing. Song sing. Bro said he can't trust these girls no more Cause she just wanna see the long thing Woo! Show the fear fling Larry. Long ding yeah. We feel fear drunk ping pong pong ping Me and a brown man did Right time people are funny to mess with on you Rosa! And that's about it for our show today. Hope you had an amazing time hanging out with me. Well, for your comments and contributions, simply send me a message on any of my social media platforms. Show me right now on your TV screens. My name is Brenda Shima saying let's do this again. Same time, same station next week. Bye for now. <laughs>